Hey! And there's the next one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the wonderful world of Minecraft. We are back again in Mad Hat Park. And as you guys can see, I've been busy. Not not terribly busy. I haven't done a whole lot. But I have... Uh, whoop, that's the wrong button. There's the button we're looking for. I have been working on this uh, new enclosure. And, uh, or I guess the combination of all the enclosures. And I kind of like the way that this is looking. Going up over there. It's coming up and then it ends right there. Then I'm going to be coming around with it and probably... Oh no, I might drop back down with it over here. But I'm not sure. Whoop, there was a hole there. Not sure exactly. Probably go all the way around here. And then come back in through here. Thinking that would probably work. Probably meet up with it right up here. And there has been an Enderman in my cow farm. Tell you what, although it's not much of a farm. I don't have any wheat right now or I would feed him. Get him multiplying. But I think the first thing we're going to do today, I think it should be done. I uh, found a few more biofossils. And not in there. Stuck, uh, stuck it in there and got a DNA. No, he's not done yet. This is one of the uh, Hinnidus or turtles. And uh, got another one of those cooking up. So we're going to, our buddy's going to have a friend. Now, I was wanting to do something. This is what I was wanting to do. I would think, and I might be wrong, no, it looks like it's working. I'm pretty sure that you can get chicken DNA with this. And I don't know, it went too fast. Let's see if we go over here. Yeah, chicken DNA, awesome. So what we're gonna use this for is we are gonna make a egg farm over there. And so if we grab a couple of these, and then grab some milk. I think we've got, uh, should have six of them cooking up. But we can only do four at a time, so that's okay. So let's stick this guy in there. And we'll put this guy over here. And this will at least give us a start on some chickens. Because that seems to be something that's really hard to find in this world for some reason. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's probably because I have more creatures installed. And that's going to make all the vanilla mobs harder to find. There's some more chicken DNA. We've got a bunch of, uh, excuse me, got a bunch of uh, different fossilized plants. So I need to play around with some of that stuff. That's pretty cool, actually. Also get some more of these dinosaurs eventually, maybe. But let's see, is this guy, this guy's done now. So I reckon the next step is going to be some milk back and uh, now while these guys cook up I'm going to go place this guy down let him hatch out I'm trying to remember I think he had to be on dry land pretty sure that's how it was so if we uh, stick him right here and then grab our dinopedia he is Nice, nice and warm. Hatching progress going up. So yeah, you're going to have a little buddy. How old are you now? Only five days old. Uh, health is actually... Oh, he's starving. You're starving. What do I have to feed you? No, I got some carrots. I'm glad I checked him. Or uh, he might have uh, not lasted very much longer. His health went up a little bit. Hunger went up a little bit. So I guess these guys can't eat anything. I might have to install a feeder in here or something so they can take care of it themselves. Or the, rather th that I can take care of them easier, I guess. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to be back once this guy's done. And I actually might go make a feeder real quick so we can take care of that too. Okay, guys, so we are back. And if you're wondering why I was way up here, I had to climb all the way up here and put my bed down so I could sleep the night away. Because I came up from the basement there and it was raining and it was uh, nighttime. There were spiders around. All kinds of nasty stuff. So this guy, I actually thought he would have hatched by now. But no, I guess it didn't take me as long as I thought. So I wonder. I did make a feeder. I believe these things work underwater. And then I bought, got a bunch of... 
Uh, yeah, I think that sound was him eating, actually. Oh, yeah, he's good to go now. And that's really cool that you can use seeds in there. So now we can just plop a whole bunch of seeds in there. And these guys should be good for quite a while now. Hey! And there's the next one. And he is a female. She, I rather, is a female. Oh, yeah, she was hungry too. Not that hungry, actually. I think it was 1900 before. Ah, look at the size difference. I hadn't really realized it before, and I wonder if this guy might keep on growing. I actually don't know... What was I looking for? Oh, female. Yeah, so they're both female. So they won't be having any babies right away. But uh, I don't know if this is as big as they get or how big they actually get. That'll be kind of interesting to find out. And uh, also, I want to show you guys... These guys over here had a baby, and this was all by themselves. They just all at once there was an egg here, and it hatched out. I actually had to scoot it away from the wall a little bit. He's still doing pretty good. And uh, so now this one's a female also, so now there's two females and two males. So I foresee us in the near future having to separate them so that they don't overrun the entire park. But yeah, if we head down, here's the spider that was making me not be able to sleep. There we go. If we head down this way, should have some chickens going. Yep, cultivate chicken egg. This one had failed, but oh, it's working now. Oh, these stack. So actually, let's go ahead and put some more in there right away. And I need some more milk. This guy's got one. And this one didn't have one. Okay, so I will... Well, let's just go ahead and stick the other two in there. Real quick. Not in there. Over here. And then right here. Now we've got some extra buckets and stuff. Throw that in there. Not sure what I'm doing with all this bone meal in my inventory. And those things can go out. But yeah, if we go over here now, we had built this little area for the dodos. And I still eventually might put dodos in there. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It just started raining quite hardly here. Hardly? Hardly is not a word. Well, it is, but it doesn't mean what I was meaning. Quite intensely. I think that's what I was trying to say. So now if we go up here and got to take this one more block down. There's a block on top of it. Forgot that I had Oh no, that was the wrong block. Darn. Let's go ahead. I don't have any glass on me, do I? No, I don't. We will put one of these blocks down for now. And now I think these guys should hatch automatically every time there we go so now we've got three of those in there take my stone back down and that's not what I want to do I actually might I don't think that they'll be jumping out of there right away so I might just leave that there for now put some stone up there so I can make sure they don't get out but yeah, those guys should grow up now and start laying eggs and put some eggs in here. So then we can, uh, I think most of the carnivores actually eat eggs. But uh, it might be better to let them grow up and get a little chicken farm going. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. And I might, I don't know, I might still put a bunch of dodos in there uh, later on. Or I might have a, build another one over here with dodos. Just so I can have a bunch of dodo eggs too. Let's see how these are doing. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm not actually... Oh, no. The, something bad happened. This is the one nice thing about this design. Is the, uh, the Phalosaurus then suffocates in the wall. Let's go over here, grab another cultivation vet. And plop it right down here. Stick that in there, and we don't have any milk, but we can milk a cow real quick. 
And stick that in there. Keep it going. But yeah, that's gonna give us a food source, another food source. Actually, I have some potatoes in here, which I got from sifting. And then I just cooked them up real quick. So I think probably the last thing I'm gonna do in this episode, seems like it's been a pretty short one. I might be wrong there. But uh, I wanna go over and look at this area over here. Cause I'm pretty excited about it. I think a lot of this here I'm gonna have to cut down. I might leave like some of this over here about as tall as it is, but a lot of this over here I'm gonna cut way down so that the dinosaurs can't get up on here. And also so that they're not so close that their, you know, their heads are uh, pushing through the, the walkway and everything, like the trikes like to do over there. But this is pretty neat over here. I kind of like it. There's also a big tree, and I think... I was thinking about keeping it, but I don't know. I might end up uh, tearing it down and then planting a new one over in this corner. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We got some... I don't think the elephants will stay in here. I don't know, maybe they will. They're herbivores, so I might just keep them too. But yeah, I think this is coming along pretty well. I've done some terraforming over in this direction, but not a whole lot. And I don't know yet this big flat area over here. I'm thinking I might leave it flat. And then just have this over here as more of the, the hillier terrain. I will probably put some trees in it and stuff though. Definitely going to keep this tree. And probably put a few more in there. Just because this will be a nice place to to view the creatures then. You can walk along here and check out how everybody's doing. And also probably eventually do some water dinos over in here. But yeah guys, I think that's going to be all for this episode. These guys are... Growing up slowly but surely. They're actually bigger than I thought they were. They sound pretty cool too. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys next time.